I'm logged into Microsoft's GitHub, and I'm going to run the test proxy logon to see if we've got any Hafnium type of vulnerabilities. And you can see a lot of different files here, but what you want to do is you want to download the test. So I'm going to click on download. And once that's downloaded, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And you can save it wherever you want, but desktop makes it easier to find. And next I'm going to open up PowerShell. I'm going to run a command that you see on this home screen here. So I'm going to go to PowerShell Admin. Since it's on the desktop, I'm going to do a change directory to desktop. Now we have a couple of options. If you have multiple exchange servers, you can run this command. Otherwise, you can run a single server, the command that you see here. I'm going to run that because I have to just check this one exchange server. And before you run this, you want to do a set-execution policy to unrestricted. In some cases, you might be blocked from being able to run this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to paste in the command. I've gone ahead and put these commands in the comment section. So you can go ahead and copy and paste from there and hit Enter. So I'll type in R to go ahead and run it. And we see that nothing suspicious was detected. So that's good information. Now I'm going to run this on a separate server that actually is infected. So we're going to go ahead and run it. I did the same thing. I copied the file down and set the execution policy. And now you can see it's running through a lot of different logs. And the difference between these two is one of these servers was exposed to the outside by having port 443 and port 80 and some other inbound ports uh, because it was a working exchange server. And the server that was not infected was not opened up to the internet. So there was no infection. But this one, however, was. So we can see suspicious activity is found. And there's a CSV file as well as log file information. So if I go down to my logs, I've got a folder on my desktop called logs. And inside here, I've got a log file, which just basically says, here's the log information. Uh, that we checked out. And then here is the CSV file itself. And you can see here, here is all the suspicious activity. And there is a lot of it. So we've got the date and time. We've got our client IP address. This is where the uh, attacks are coming from. And then we've got the JS files, cookies, and other things like that. And the Auto Discover is a key giveaway here. That one is really attacked and the HTTP status. Now, what if you see the same thing or something similar? The problem is Microsoft doesn't really tell us uh, any great way to get rid of this. So the best way at this time is going to be to build a brand new Exchange server, patch it completely, and restore the mailboxes uh, or the mailbox databases to that new location. And that is how you find a vulnerable server using the GitHub script for the Hafnium vulnerability.